Good morning. Let's talk about molarity. Molarity is the units which measures the amount of substance in water. For example, your mom makes lemonade. If she puts too much lemon concentrate in it, it's gonna taste pretty sour. But then, if she put less lemon lemon、uh, concentrate in it, it's gonna taste less sour. So it basically measures how much of a substance is in the water and how it tastes or looks. For example, if you dump a whole packet of Kool Aid in your water bottle, shake it versus half of the amount of Kool Aid in your water bottle, and then shake it. Obviously, the Kool Aid with、um, that you made with the whole packet will look、uh, darker or more vibrant than the one with where you just put half of it. So molarity, the formula is、uh, equal to. The moles of your substance divided by liter of solution. Again, moles of a substance over liter of solution. It's not milliliters. It's liters. Okay. And to calculate moles, as you guys have done before, you guys can divide whatever grams that you've been given over the molar mass. And if、uh, you are given Milliliters. You can convert that into liters by dividing by one thousand. Guided practice one. Obviously, you can see that、uh, in molarity calculations, of course, there's math involved. You were given a formula, so we,、uh, I am going to do all the guided practice and show you how to do it.、Um, please make sure you're following the process. Okay, right here. Uh, question says a solution contains 0.42 moles of solute in 0.75 liters. Calculate the molarity of the solution. Okay. So here, as you can see, I highlighted、uh, the given and the unknown. 0.42 moles is given. That's the number of moles we have.、Uh, 0.75 liters. That's the volume we have. Okay, as you guys know from the previous slide, molarity equals to moles over volume. You have both moles and volumes. Substitute those in the formula. Divide 0.42 moles by 0.75 liters, and you get your answer: 0.56 molarity. As simple as that. Guided practice two. Question says: What is the molarity of a solution that contains? Fifteen grams of sodium hydroxide per five hundred milliliter of solution. So right here is what I talked about in previous slide when I said it might get a little complicated when you have to do conversions. Here, as you can see, you are given fifteen grams of sodium hydroxide. Now you have to convert those fifteen grams of sodium hydroxide to moles. To do so, you're going to divide the grams. Fifteen grams, which you are given by the molar mass of NaOH, fifteen point zero grams over forty grams per mole. You should be able to get zero point three seven five moles. That is how much moles we have. As per the question, volume is given five hundred milliliters. That means you need to convert that to liters. Five hundred divided by thousand, you get zero point five liters. Now, from the、um, first slide, you know the molarity formula is moles per volume. You have your moles, zero point three seven five. You have your volume, zero point five. You divide your moles by liters, and you end up with zero point seven five molarity. So, when we're talking about fifteen grams of NaOH in 500 milliliters of a solution. We're talking about it having a molarity or strength of 0.75 molarity. Guided practice number three. Question says, how many moles of hydrochloric acid 
are present in 0.085 liters of a 3.0 molarity solution. Here, you are given volume 0.085 liters, molarity 0, sorry, 3.0 molar solution. You are asked to find how many moles there are. As you know, formula for molarity is moles per liter. Here, they're not asking you to find molarity, which the equation gives you. So you will have to manipulate the formula, and formula goes as moles equals to molarity times liter. You have your molarity, you have your volume in liters. Multiply those 3.0 molar times 0 0.085 liters, you get your answer 2.55 moles. Individual practice. There are two questions. You are going to complete these in Google document and submit it as your work. Uh, make sure you guys uh, see here that in both of the questions, there's grams given. So you will have to convert that to moles. And to do that, you will have to divide by molar mass. That means you're going to have to calculate molar mass of copper 2 chloride for first question and you will, have, you will have to calculate the molar mass for potassium chromate for the second one. Okay. Also, both of the volumes are given in milliliters. That means you will have to convert them to liters by dividing by 1000. Okay. So again, you guys are going to do this in Google Doc and submit as your work. Thanks.